Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Dell G7 computer. And in this process, I'll explain to you what you can do with the upgrade. For example, your hard drive, your RAM, or maybe you want to do a replacement on a battery. Maybe um, change out your CPU fan, things like that. So I'll walk you through step by step. Uh, what are the things I'm going to do here in this process? Let's go ahead and identify the computer. If you turn it around at the back here, it says P40E. This is the Dell G7 gaming laptop, 7790. Okay. All right. So let's begin. The first thing you need to have is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. It looks like the two screws in the middle are not coming off. So these two screws right here stays on the back cover. So the reason I'm showing you the video here is that the regular hard drive, I believe is the one terabyte hard drive uh, as a secondary drive, that hard drive died and it's not showing in the computer so i would like to take it out and see if i can recover the data at the same time maybe replace with the solid state drive so i would like to take this opportunity since i'm taking it apart and i'd like to show it to you what are the things that you can upgrade or do with your laptop here all right so once you have all the screws removed you can just lift the back cover up very simple with that here you can quickly identify what are the things here I'm going to show it to you. So this is your laptop battery and the model of this, if you take a look at the battery here, it says, is that one or seven? F22N. And also you can look it up the model number here for the replacement 0 h y w X J. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll link all the tools, the um, replacement part, everything in my description below, where you will direct you to Amazon or eBay for the uh, purchase on those replacement part. All right, enough of that. So the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. The battery connector here is very straightforward. All you have to do is just to lift up the connector. Okay. Yeah, just like Lego, the snap on to install, lift it up to remove. Next step is removing the battery. So you need to remove the four screws. And the battery will just come right up. Okay. The next part is to remove the secondary drive. That is my whole reason of doing this repair. The hard drive stopped recognizing in the computer. Okay. So three screws off. The hard drive bracket, flip open the connector right here and slide the cable out. That is your hard drive cable and see if I can wiggle the thing to come out. All right, and that is the hard drive for secondary. You can actually replace it with the solid state drive. All you have to do is to disconnect the connector right here. Get the bracket out of the hard drive. Install the bracket onto the SSD drive. Reconnect the hard drive connector. Slide it in into the connector and close it. There you have your secondary drive. Okay. Just wanted to share on how to upgrade that hard drive. Okay, let's put that on the side. The next step is to identify your M.2 drive. 
this is where all your C drive is, all your data program. By the way, this is your CMOS battery, okay? Remove the two screws, open up the bracket. Here is your M.2 drive. They use the tiny mini ones. You can actually upgrade this tiny mini M.2 drive. This is 256. You can upgrade it to a larger hard drive. Assuming this is the one terabyte, you can remove this little um, bracket here to the back. The mini one goes in the front. The back here is for the full size M.2 drive. Okay, so you need to install that to move it backwards. All right. And again, if you want to able to recover the data, you can buy the M.2 the larger one terabyte or 512 whichever you like well this thing is installed here and if you try to clone it cloning means you're taking everything here make it identical onto your larger drive that is called cloning and you can clone everything including your windows your program your data your settings everything would clone over to this one so what you need to do is to get yourself this USB M.2 adapter and also a Cronus software, the cloning software where you can plug it into your USB and clone it over to this new hard drive. I make that separate video in my channel. Go ahead and check it out as well as I'll link them in the description below. You can go ahead and find them. Okay, so next process. Let's, let's talk about the RAM. This is your 8 gigs RAM DDR4 to remove it. Sim, sim, slimpy, simply, sorry, twist tongue. I couldn't say that word. Um, just press the two side and the DDR4 RAM can just be removed. Okay. You have two slots. They are utilized 8 and 8. So you have 16 gigs of RAM total. I believe you can upgrade to 32 gigs meaning you would have to change 16 and 16 for 32 gigs. This is your heatsink and your CPU fan, which they would exhaust out away from your laptop, both sides. The fan would spin, hot air would blow away from the computer. So let's go ahead and remove the heatsink. The screw does not come out. You just have to loosen up the screw. Once you have done with that part, just simply lift it up a little bit because the, I believe, is the let's try to remove the CPU fan as well at the same time. Let me try to get a better screwdriver. Uh, see if I have any here. One second. All right, sorry about that. I have to look for a tiny screw because they're put on the uh, a smaller Phillips screw here. So let me find the right one. Wait. 
what is happening. I really apologize about this unnecessary um, recording here. It looks that I'm not professional at all. Sorry, I'm not prepared for this. I was middle of no no excuses. Okay, so let's let's get going. Remove the screw. We need to get the screw out for your CPU fan. And this screw here is a lot smaller and you need to have a shallow tip. The tip has to be more flat in order to uh, get a good grip on the screw. I'm not sure what is the size of this. I'm using PH zero zero that's what it says okay so let's see what happened next now all right technically you do need to remove the fan together with that so here's a cpu fan connector slide it to your right let's go ahead and disconnect that very tight so the connector has no clipper or anything i was trying not to pull too hard because the cable is very thin so i was pulling and pushing the connector at the same time so this connector here has to go away from your body so go up that direction all right there you have it that was a lot easier now, if you flip it around, you can see that the thermal pads are around here on your copper heat sink, as well as the thermal paste. So the thermal paste is actually all dried up. And if you like to apply a new thermal paste, what you want to do is get yourself the uh, alcohol wipes. So this is what I usually like to use. Use the alcohol wipes, wipe down the thermal dry thermal paste wipe it down on your cpu and your graphics card once you clean that up and apply them with the new thermal paste compound okay do you see how original dell put the thermal paste on it they are very generous with the thermal paste and it's all spilled all around the corner you should do the same thing try not to listen to anybody who said just do a tiny drop right in the center i don't think that is enough thermal paste if you do a tiny drop best way to do it is to squeeze it in and spread it all around the uh, metal cpu on the top graphics card that's when you close it down and have a solid connection on it okay and here comes all the thermal pads you can buy them and cut it into sizes so that you can have a, a better um, heat um, you know um, exhaust all the heat out okay let's move on so this is the dc jack connector it is replaceable dc jack connector all you have to do is to remove the two screws remove that bracket and here is the uh, connector slide it to your right yeah yeah yay it's really really hard okay there's the dc jack connector uh the replacement part for this is zero h T K X Y. That is the replacement part for the DC jack. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. I think I got a splinter. It hurts. A metal splinter. Okay, remove that one screw. 
and the black cable is on the top the little triangle is pointing there and the white cable is at the bottom you can just lift it up and they are like lego once you lift it up you can disconnect and put the wi-fi adapter on the side there here comes your lcd screen you see this little plastic here you need to somewhat peel the plastic to the back so that the connector is exposed flip the connector up slide the lcd to your right and that's how you disconnect the lcd this is the cmos battery so let's put that on the side here here comes your um, open up the connector slide it to your left that is your usb io board on the left this is your keyboard lighting open the connector slide the key cable out your touchpad and here comes your um, keyboard and this is your speaker slide the connector down and that should be it we are removing the motherboard Okay, let's see what else. There's one tiny screw here. USB-C, I need to remove that as well. And now the entire motherboard would just come right out. Okay. There you go. And if you want to do a replacement on the motherboard, more likely you need to find the uh, model here. Vulcan 15-N18E. That's the main board. All right. That is your motherboard. Let's put that on the side. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about your... Um, keyboard replacement if you're looking into for for doing that it is not replaceable the keyboard because you can see that these are what we call the punch down tool the keyboard is punched down with this bracket right here my suggestion for you is you need to remove the entire bracket with the palm rest and do the entire keyboard replacement so this is not just a keyboard itself you need to replace the whole thing so when you buy you need to buy this entire piece for your keyboard replacement okay um, i think that's pretty much it for the entire teardown um, it's very uh, simple it's not that difficult i hope the video is helpful to you and in return of a favor if you can just subscribe to the channel um, i really appreciate you for doing that and do not forget to smash the like button that way it helps me to uh, uh, helps the algorithm to grow my channel in, in youtube so thanks for liking and subscribing um, in this video here and if you have any question comment below because i do read your comments and i'll answer any of the computer questions you have thanks for watching until next time bye now